Um, hello, so today we are going to look at this problem number of one bits, lead code daily challenge. So basically we have a binary representation of an, assi an assigned integer and we want to return the number of one bits and that's called the Hamming weight. Um, so for example, here we have three bits, three one bits, and then here we have just one, okay? So this is the easiest way to do this is just to use the fact that if you want to check that a number is one or zero, um, in a, a, a binary, then you can just check. Um, then you can just check using by ending it with one shifted to the left by a or for that position. Okay. So if you just take the number and you end it with this, right? If this is um, if this is equal to zero, let's call this the result here t. If t is zero, then that means it was off. If it's different than zero, that means it was on, okay? And on basically means it's equal to one, off means it's equal to zero. Why does this work? Well, let's take an example. Let's take, for example, um, um, S equal to, uh, or S, uh, basically a binary representation like this one, okay? Uh, okay, let's just simplify it to remove all these zeros. So if we take, let's say if we want to check if the bit at position 0, 1 at position 1, if it's set or not. So we want to shift first by that position. So to shift left one time. So that means you take 1 and then you shift it to the left. And so you have a 0 behind it um, like this, just to make it aligned. Okay. So if you take that and end it with the number that we had originally, then what do we get? Well, we get for one and with zero, that means it's zero here, right? And then for one, then that's one, zero here. And then with one, that's one, and then the other two is zero, right? So this is different than zero, so that tells you that it's on, okay? So here, one and zero, that's zero, one and one, that's here, it's zero actually, because it's one and zero. So it would different than zero, so that means it's on. If we had zero here, the zero and zero would be zero. And so we will know that it's not set because it's equal to zero, right? So that's very, yeah, pretty much how you can do it. And so let's do, apply that here. How many times do we, how many positions do we need to check? Well, since this is going to be 32 bits, let's just check all of them because we want to count all the ones. And so to do that, we can just go through, um, Let's just have a counter equal to zero, and then we can go through each position um, in all the bits position we have, so 32. Um, and then we check if n ended with, basically just apply this here, ended with one shifted to the left i times. If this is different than zero, that means it's set, it's on. And so that's what we can do here, just count it, plus one. And then at the end, just return count. So pretty straightforward. Time complexity is also constant. It's going to be O of 32. Um, and so if we run this, submit, it does pass, OK? Um, yeah, so pretty simple. You could also do it by dividing by 2 until the number becomes 0. And then just you count how many times you divide. Uh, that's also um, uh, one way to do it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.